Welcome to Arena in 30, powered by Spitmaster. I'm Scott Jordan. This is Arena Championship Series Central. We are at the Shot State Center in Columbus, Ohio, for the fourth event here this weekend. So far, two overall event championships for Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mutt Dalmatian. One for Weston Anderson, who walks away with the trophy. Today, we are about to find out four competitions. And up first is JCB Racing, Scooby Doo, Toro Loco, Stone Crusher, Make the Knot, Grave Digger, Just Get Her Done 2, and Zombie Monster Mutt Dalmatian in round one. And we go to the racetrack up first. Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco lined up, and he will face off against Brianna Mahad and Scooby Doo. So round one of JCB Racing is about to begin. We're waiting for our green light. We got it. And here we go in Columbus. Great corner there for both drivers. Brown Mahan has the edge halfway through. Final turn. Brandon Martinez goes up on two wheels. And that's all the difference Scooby-Doo needs. Brown Mahan advances in the JCB Racing bracket. Next up, Michaela Talachka in Megalodon, and she will line up against Alex Barden in Stone Crusher, two independent drivers here on the Central Series, trying to get into the semifinal round. Little smoke out of Megalodon. Alex Barden has a lead in Stone Crusher. You see that chalk line there? That's what you're looking for across the finish line. Alex Barden, the final quarter. Stone Crusher gets the win, and Stone Crusher advances to the JCB Racing semifinal round. Our next match up here in round one, Weston Anderson in Grave Digger, the series champion, defending series champion, going up against Brandon Talutska and just get her done. Two second generation drivers going head to head here in round one of JCB Racing. Look at the start for Grave Digger off the chalk line. The black and green wrecking machine out in front, and Weston Anderson taking no prisoners here. He is out in front with a big lead, but Brandon Talutska trying to turn on the Jets. Not enough. Too much, too late. Weston Anderson, Grave Digger advancing to the next round. Our final round one matchup, Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. She is going to go up against Frank Krimmel in Zombie. Jamie undefeated on this racetrack, 9-0 with three JCB Racing wins. And a great start again off the starting line. Jamie Sullivan, perfect corner. And she's got about a half a truck length lead. Final turn. That turning pot stays in the chalk line. A big win for Jamie Sullivan. She stays undefeated here at Columbus. And she moves on to the semifinal round. We're going to take a look at our bracket here. JCB Racing in the semis. It'll be Scooby-Doo up against Stone Crusher and then Grave Digger against Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Two great matchups. Two will advance to the pod where they will face off for the JCB Racing win and eight points on the line in our first competition here at the Shot and State Center. Brown and Mahan, Scooby-Doo lined up and ready to go up against Alex Barden and Stone Crusher. And the semifinal matchup about to begin. We got two trucks pulled to the line and here we go. Scooby-Doo with the lead now off the starting line. Great corner there for Scooby-Doo's Brianna Mahad. And she goes around again. Alex Barton trying to make it interesting, and he does, but not quite enough. Brianna Mahad, Scooby-Doo gets the win, and she will move that truck up onto the pod. Now we got Weston Anderson in Grave Digger up against J.B. Sullivan and Monster Mutt Dalmatian. These two have met twice in the final round on this track so far. J.B. Sullivan has taken both of those racing wins. Weston Anderson tiptoeing around the turning pot. He's got the lead. And again, great corner there. Jamie Sullivan goes over. She just clipped the pod. And that is all the difference Weston Anderson needs. And Gravedigger advances to the final round. Let's check out our JCB Racing bracket. Scooby-Doo beats El Toro Loco and Stone Crusher. Gravedigger beats Just Get Her Done and Monster Mutt Dalmatian. So Brianna Mahad and Weston Anderson going to go at it here in racing. They've gone at it in so many epic freestyle competitions. Now they get a chance in the racing bracket. Eight points on the line. Weston Anderson, Brianna Mahan. Only one will win. And here we go, our final round here, the fourth event at the Schottenstein Center. We are off. We're going to find a racing winner here at Columbus. And Weston Anderson with a very small lead. Brianna Mahan is not letting up at all. And to the finish we go, and Weston Anderson. What an exciting finish, but Gravedigger gets the racing win. A great way to cap off our racing competition, Weston Anderson. Gets his first racing win of the weekend, and we take a look at her BKT overall point standings after one. Gravedigger gets eight points, Scooby-Doo with seven, Stow Crusher and Monster Mutt Dalmatian, each with four. El Toro Loco, Megalodon, just get her done, two, and Zombie, each with two points, one down and three to go here in Columbus, Ohio. Weston Anderson now has Gravedigger on top, but will he stay at the head of the pack? We're going to find out next with the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge next on Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master.
Welcome back to Reading 30 Power by Spin Master in Columbus, Ohio. Next up is the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Each driver here has the opportunity to wow the crowd with their best maneuver using only two wheels. They get two attempts to do so. They're scored by fans in attendance on creativity, wow factor, skill, execution. And we're going to take a look at our top competitors. Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco up first, gets a nice popper off the log stack, gets it right into a mood walk, and then keeps it right there in the center of that pod, right on that chalk line. You got smoke flying out of the nose of the crazy bull. And Fernando Martinez now going to lean the truck a little over to the left, going to utilize the front and rear steer. Now back over to the right. Nose wheelie, moonwalk combo. And that mouth of El Toro Loco just hanging off by a thread. Fernando gets it back down on all four. A great first attempt for El Toro Loco. Second attempt down the center lane here off the pod, right into a moonwalk. Going to try to inch this truck back up all the way across that edge, get up to the lip of the pod. He's got to accelerate into reverse. He does it. There's the dip perfectly executed by Fernando Martinez right there in that center sweet spot. All the room in the world to work with. He can go forwards. He can go backwards. And he's going to flip the truck back up into a wheelie. Grease the tires on the backside. Great combo move there for Fernando Martinez. Next up, Weston Anderson, fresh off the racing win. Grave Digger now comes right up. Goes a little off to the side here of this ramp. He's got that right side on the deep side of the track here. The shot in Steen Center goes right out into a nose wheelie and then back into a moonwalk. Tries to flip it back up. He does so, but runs a little bit out of room. So maybe a little short there on what he wanted to do, but he gets another attempt. Weston Anderson lining Grave Digger up for a popper here. Comes up, gets a nice pop on the back two. All the way up in the sky, 180 degree angle of the truck. The red headlights beaming down on the dirt on the pod. Now he's going to try to flip it up. Goes up on one wheel, almost rolls the truck. And he's able to save an 8.627 for Weston Anderson. Next up, Rihanna Mahad and Scooby-Doo from the JCB Racing Finals. Going to try to get a competition win here. All the way across the pod into a stop. He right into a nose wheelie. Got Scooby-Doo right up there again, 180 degree angle, gets a moonwalk, got to get it all the way back up over that ramp, does so right into that dip, and comes right back down. Attempt number one for Scooby-Doo, now attempt number two. Slowly navigating the truck down the ramp here off the pod, again into stoppy formation. Look at that back wheel, though. Keeps going and going and going. That back left wheel has a mind of its own right now. The dog trying to get a bone here. Scooby-Doo into a crooked moonwalk up over the ramp. She gets a nice little pogo bounce. And eventually, the truck is going to roll. Brown of Mahan, 7.973. Finally, Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mutt Dalmatian. She wastes no time. Comes all the way down to the deep side of the track. Nose wheelie moonwalk combo. Now takes an inch back and forth. Slow rolls the truck down, keeps that nose down, just waiting to shred the front part of that Monster Mutt Dalmatian body off. And now back into moonwalk. Finally back down on all four BKT tires. Let's see what she has in store for attempt number two. Popper coming up for Monster Mutt Dalmatian. She lands it. Now she's got to show the crowd something they haven't seen yet. They've seen the moonwalks. They've seen the nose wheelies. We'll see what Jamie Sullivan could do as she tries to win the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Back and forth again. Absolute perfect execution here from the second year driver out of Christmas, Florida. And now Jamie Sullivan going to try to wheel it back in. Runs out of room at the edge of that pod. 8.805 is the score. And that means our Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge winner. A very excited Fernando Martinez. In El Toro Loco. For Fernando, is his third skills win in Columbus. We're going to check out our BKT overall point standings after two. Gravedigger stays at the top with 14. Scooby-Doo with 12. Monster Mutt Dalmatian with 11. El Toro Loco moves up to fourth with 10. Stone Crusher with seven. Just get her done two with six. Zombie with four. And Megalodon with three. We are halfway through the day here in Columbus, but stay right where you are. The donut competition is next on Arena and 30, powered by Spin Master.
You're watching Arena in 30 Power by Spin Master. This is Arena Championship Series Central from Columbus, Ohio. Up next in Columbus is the Donut Competition. Fans in attendance once again scoring based on speed, style, and execution. Let's take a look at our top four. Brianna Mahan in Scooby Doo. She has a locked up planetary. Check out that back left wheel completely locked up. It's not stopping her though from getting these donuts. And she nails a good one here, 8.610. Frank Krimble Zombie trying to get on the board here with his first podium finish. Frank navigates Zombie in, makes a nice circle formation, trying to find a sweet spot in the dirt. He's got the front left wheel up. That's what you want to see. Get those back two wheels down low. And he spins it around a little break dance on the ending, 8.409. Weston Anderson, a grave digger, off to a great start. He's at the top of the leaderboard so far. A win here would keep him going and route to that overall event championship. Weston goes deep all the way across that chalk line. The boundary line comes right back in. Sits it very nicely up against the pod. Grave digger on the back side. Talk about a breakdance ending. That's it. Steering wheel out the window. And a 9.403, Weston Anderson takes the lead in Monster Jam Donuts. Jamie Sullivan going to try to change that right now. She is fighting for the overall event championship needs to get a win here to keep herself in contention round and round and round goes monster Month dalmatian the dog pound out in full force here in columbus 8.820 not enough to take the win so weston anderson grave digger with another competition win that's his second of the day and we're going to check out our bkc overall point standings with a win weston has eight more points he's got 22 monster Month dalmatian with 18 scooby-doo with 18 as well a toro loco 14 stone crusher 10 zombie with nine just get her done two with eight and megalodon with four and that brings us to the final competition of the day. It's freestyle. To get a score, drivers must complete the first 15 seconds of their run. Fans want to see him use every obstacle on that six-sided pod. You want to see creativity, technical moves, combinations, of course, a wow moment or two. And up first out of Kiwani, Wisconsin, Brandon Talutska, and just get her done. Great look at the back end of that truck. When you have a weekend of Monster Jam action where these arena series have four or five different events, you're going to see a lot of body damage as you get into Sunday. A lot of mechanical damage as well, which we're seeing right here from Brandon Talushka. Just get her done. A premature ending to the freestyle run. And that'll do it for Brandon. Next up, Alex Barton gets an opportunity in Stone Crusher. So Brandon not able to get the run he wants. That sets up Alex in a perfect position to try to give the fans something they have not seen yet. Going for a sky wheelie. They're struggling to get the truck up into that vertical position. And out comes off to the side. If you can't go high, you might as well go all the way across the pod. And that's what Alex did right there with huge success. Nice stopping maneuver there. So technical combination moves from the Great Clips two-wheel skills challenge. Love to see that. This dirt here, very tacky in Columbus. It has been battered and beaten. This track, the pod, all of it, the trucks, absolutely been battered. But Alex Bard with a great opportunity here to win freestyle. Gets a 6.940 as we check out the original super glue. Glue to the action replay. Frank Krimmel and Zombie next up on deck out of Michigan. Longtime Monster Jam driver. When you look at drivers who have driven the most trucks in Monster Jam history, Frank Krimmel has to have his name right up at the top or near the top of that list. Over 20 different trucks in his Monster Jam career. Zombie, the latest, added to that repertoire. Up over the single log, nice air for Zombie. And that'll do it. Here's the original Super Glue. Go to the action replay. Brake check, jump off the log, 6.772. Coming up, more high flag freestyle action in the crowning of our event champion. Who will it be? Find out next on Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. Welcome back to Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master from Columbus as we continue on with the freestyle competition. Our next competitor keeping the competition going out of Kiwani, Wisconsin. This is Michaela Talachka in Megalodon. So we saw Brandon kick off the competition, but Kayla going to try to do her brother a little bit better and take a freestyle lead. And she wastes no time coming off the single log. Nice cross-threading there from Megalodon. A little bit of a side slap. Nice finesse landing, though. There's your score to beat 6.940. Alex Barton and Stone Crusher. But Kayla would love to get the first freestyle win of her young Monster Jam career right here, right up over the log. Now comes back, cross threading again. When I say cross threading, that means they're hitting these obstacles at a different angle. They're not hitting them straight forward. Sometimes being cautionary does not create chaos or carnage. And Michaela is trying to create that right now, make something happen. 
And that'll do it. Check out the original Super Glue Glue to the action replay. Here is Megalodon. Nice jump there. There is that side slap on the landing. 7.445. We got a new leader as Michaela Talashka takes a freestyle lead. JB Sullivan now out in Monster Butt Down Major. Look at the technical move right there. Right back into a moonwalk. Catches it at the edge of the pod. Flips it back around. Taking your driver out of Florida. Now lives in North Carolina. She trails the overall event lead by four. Jamie Sullivan has found a hot streak here as of late on this series. One of the most dominant drivers on the arena circuit. Nice jump there. Gets Monster Mutt Dalmatian straight up all the way across the pod. Catches it on the lid. Grabs it right there with a wheelie on the backside combo. And again, nice slap wheelie. This is a perfect run here. When you are in an arena, you got to be creative in a backflip. There's nothing more creative than that. And Jamie Sullivan out of nowhere hits the backflip, and that is an incredible run. Take a look at the original Super Glue to the action replay. 9.722, she sticks the landing and takes the freestyle lead. You hate to follow that, somebody has to. Might as well be the princess of carnage, Brianna Maha. She comes into freestyle tied with Jamie Sullivan at 18 points, four off the lead, which is held by Gravedigger. To stay in the hunt for the event championship, she is going to have to beat Jamie Sullivan's run, which could be a tough task. But if anybody can do it, it is the Princess of Carnage, Brianna Mahan. Scooby-Doo back again. Some more up again, up over the pod. Center lane comes back over it, off to the left side again, jumping one after another in Scooby-Doo. The tail is wagging. The back end of that body's not there. The tail still going strong. Scooby-Doo happy right now on the track. Brianna Mahan happy with that slap wheelie save. On the near side track, now all the way across the side, trying to find something here. Sky Wheelie, the front end of the body is off. The rest of it might come off, too. And Brianna Mahan ends up on the side. What a way to finish the run. Here's the original Super Glue Glue to the action replay. Straight up, Sky Wheelie lands it hard, tries to save it. Can't do it on the pod. And that'll do it for the run. This is Fernando Martinez in El Toro Loco. And now Fernando Martinez goes the opposite way, straight up Sky Wheelie, and then bounces it off the clip. El Toro Loco, that body hanging out by a thread as well. Comes back around center lane on the ramp. Nice accelerated jump, brake check on the backside. This time goes straight up vertical Sky Wheelie. Pogo bounce on the back two BKT tires. And Fernando Martinez starting to feel it. Now climbs up, greases the back two wheels again, keeps it in wheelie formation. And over end floater jump all the way across the pod down the ramp. And Fernando just leapfrogging this truck all the way across Columbus, Ohio. Brake check again down over the eight pack. Pops the back two wheels up. That is a double wheelie combo. Popper into a wheelie. These jumps one after another. Fernando absolutely feeling this downshift in El Toro Loco. Runs out of room, hits Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Here's the Super Glue Glue to the action replay. The finesse on that combination move to Wheelie all the way across the pod. That takes some talent, but it does not take the lead away from Jamie Sullivan. Our final competitor, the overall event leader so far, Weston Anderson in Gravedigger. He needs to finish fourth or better to win the event championship. Otherwise, it goes to Jamie Sullivan. He's got two freestyle wins on this track already. Number three would win him the event. Up on three wheels comes Gravedigger. Now back all the way across the pod into a wheelie combo. This track so unforgiving. These drivers have to catch it. And there's a great catch, a great jump with the brake check. Vertical sky wheelie for Gravedigger. Now Weston has to hit reverse, running out of room here in the shot steed center. Running out of time as well. Gravedigger now going for a bicycle. Love seeing that in the arena. It's right into a one wheel stoppy. And gets it down, tried for a wheelie, but there is Monster Mutt Dalmatian, Jamie Sullivan, trying to walk out of here with a freestyle win in reverse, cross-threading back into a wheelie, and on the sidewalls, what a save for Weston Anderson, unbelievable. This might do it, I don't know what he's doing, but it's absolutely beautiful on this track. Take a look at the original Super Glue Glue to the action replay. Just reckless abandon here from Weston Anderson. He is feeling it, and the crowd's feeling it. We're going to take a look at our BKT overall point standing. So Jamie Sullivan wins freestyle, but Weston Anderson wins the event with 29 points. Jamie finishes with 26, Brianna Mahan with 24. El Toro Locos, Fernando Martinez with 19. Stone Crushers, Alex Barton with 13 to round out the top five. Right now, let's go down to the track to hear from our champion, Weston Anderson. Congratulations, Team Grave Digger, and happy birthday, Chandler West. I mean, what a great birthday present. 
Yeah, it's pretty great. You know, like I say all the time, as long as he can go out there and drive it like he does, I'm happy. It's the best birthday gift I can give him. <laughs> now, I mean, Weston, for you, when you come out last in freestyle, the track is torn up. Maybe a backflip has already been done. All the tricks have been pulled out. How do you manage to still amaze these fans every time? You just got to get a little wild on the sticks out here. I, mean, I did what I could. The truck broke halfway through the run. It's nobody's fault. I've been running the truck super hard all weekend. But hey, we tried to still give you guys a Gravedigger freestyle run. Had a couple saves, a couple reverse jumps, and it's all I could do with what I had, man. And uh, you did what you did. So do you have anything left for these fans here in Columbus today? Absolutely. First, I want everybody on the count of three to say happy birthday to Chandler right here. You guys ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday, Chandler! Second thing, man, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming out here, supporting this crazy lifestyle of ours for the past 43 years, man. It's because of all you guys filling these seats each and every weekend that we get to do what we do. So thank you guys. Hats off to y'all. I love each and every one of you. And of course, we're not going to send you home without hearing from your Monster Jam Freestyle winner, Jamie Sullivan. I mean, that Morgan and Morgan backflip had the crowd going crazy. What goes through your mind when you're flipping through the air in a 12,000 pound Monster Jam truck? You know, it's definitely pretty wild and it hasn't gone the right way for everyone this weekend. So to come out here and actually land it, it was really awesome. But yeah, no, once you get to that backflip ramp, you just want to floor it and put the pedal to the metal and it worked out for me. And how about you? This is our last event in the state of Ohio. You're soon to be alma, fully alma mater state. Do you have anything left for these fans here? You know, you fans have been so awesome this entire weekend. It's so cool to be back here, so close to where I went to college. But yeah, no, you guys have been so incredible. Thank you guys for coming out, and hopefully we'll see you again next year. Make some noise for Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mud Dalmatian. Thank you, Taylor. The birthday celebration begins for Chandler West, one of the best crew chiefs in the business. And the domination continues for Weston Anderson and Jamie Sullivan on the Central Series. You can follow this series as well as the East and West right here on Arena at 30. And be sure to follow us on social media at Monster Jam. And head to MonsterJam.com for tickets, news, merchandise, and everything sport-related. That's all the time we have from Columbus. I'm Scott Jordan. I'll see you right here next time on Arena at 30, powered by Spin Master.